today we're going to be talking about keyboard shortcuts. To help illustrate this, let's go to the architecture tab, wall, architectural wall, and we'll go ahead and use our generic six inch wall. So we can use keyboard shortcuts for object snaps if I type SM for midpoint, snap midpoint, SP, snap perpendicular, we'll go SM again, SM, SI for intersection, SE for end. There's also a whole lot of other keyboard shortcuts for the various commands. To get a list of those, we can go to our View tab, User Interface, Keyboard Shortcuts. So this will give you a list of all the existing shortcuts within Revit. For the Modify command, we have MD, Properties, we have PP, Control and 1, and VP. If I wanted to add a shortcut to a command, I could simply select it. And down here where it says press new keys, we'll, go, we'll use MO and assign. Now if I wanted to remove that shortcut, I could simply select, hit remove. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to type in window. Close hidden window is a command that currently does not have a shortcut, but I think would be helpful. So I'm going to type in CW for close hidden windows and assign. Hit OK. So right now this is the only view we have open. But let's go to our 3D view. We can type in WT for window tile. Show that we have two views. I'll go ahead and expand my 3D view. And I'm going to type in CW for close hidden windows. As you can see up here, my close hidden windows icon has grayed out and you can actually see the shortcut within the title now. This has been CAD Teacher VDCI, tips and tricks for Revit, keyboard shortcuts. Thanks for watching.